Good morning. It's Breakfast with Delzy, the Dell Show edition. We got some releases today. We've got these Laser Air Jordan 90s. We've got some LeBrons that we've seen a preview on the LeBrons. And, uh, man, you know, we, we, were, we were expecting something to release as far as a shot drop on the 23rd of last month. And we never had the chance of actually buying them because they released nothing that day. Absolutely nothing. Shit. Uh, man. So we're actually going to be able to buy these today if you're looking to buy them. And um, I will say right now, 2 o'clock p.m. today, we will have a huge interview with Sammy Guevara. AEW Sammy Guevara. Surprise, surprise. We will have him as a guest. 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Times may change. You know how it is sometimes. These guys are on the road. So it may be you know earlier, later, just... Make sure you're subscribed to the Sneaker Addict, as you see on the screen, and turn all notifications on. This is going to be a big, big interview for the channel, so I need your support. So please come through. It, it is definitely going to be a fun, fun interview. Um, are we going for these today? I have a link in the description box if you are looking to pick them up. And we'll take a look at the resale momentarily. And, uh, man, thank you all for tuning in this morning and um, I just want to see what's going on in the chat. We all live. Let me know. Let me throw the link in the chat if anyone would like to join. Um, what's up, dude? He says, let's get it, crew. That's right. That's right, man. Jonesy up in here. Bong, bong. Loud pack Zach. What up, man? He said, good luck, fam. Thank you. I'm, I'm, if you're talking about the interview, thank you. Um, but, but as far as these shoes, I'm passing on these shoes. I can't be buying every effing shoe. Um, are they worth $200? I definitely think so. I think they're worth $200. Um, all leather upper, even the back is leather. Let, let's dig into this shoe more and the releases for today. And there is supposed to be early access for uh, that Jordan 3. I, I'm pretty sure I don't have that early access. Um, we'll dig into that in a little bit. But, yeah, so here's the Laser 3, $200. You know, it's got a nice leather upper. It looks like a Vincetta tan. What is the actual colorway to this? Does it actually say? No, it doesn't. Um, but it's got like a wood wood grain kind of feel to it, definitely. I personally think they're worth two hundred dollars. It's just my whole thing is, am I really going to wear these? I mean, I have some cork Air Max nineties. I haven't even worn them shits, man. Like they're still just sitting. Um, because I, I'm for one, I think I'm worried about messing it up. Um, you know, Jonesy, let's get that W. You trying to get these today, huh? Okay. Speaking of the devil, what's up? Hey, what's cracking, man? How you doing? Jones. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, my volume is really low. My bad. Yo, what's cracking, man? Um, let's see. Let's see. Are you going for these, bro? No. No. Um, I mean, if there wasn't so much... No, I'm not. I'm not at all. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. No, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I, as much as I, I think they're really nice, I don't mm -hmm. really need them. I don't, I don't really... I don't know. Yeah. There's just a lot of things coming out that are on my radar this month, this week that I just yeah, don't. Yeah, this week, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just can't. Uh, I just don't see myself getting these at all or wanting them right now. Just right now. I think they're a dope shoe. If anybody they're goes super for dope. And like, yeah. if you like them, don't go off of, of what me and Jonesy are saying. No, like, no, you know, please. these are fire. Like, look at the mm -hmm. back. the The back is all leather. It looks like. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this is a Vincetta tan leather, which is nice. I hope I'm saying it right. I know there'll be someone that'll correct me. Definitely. Is that what it is? Yeah. It, it, it looks like some heavy, high quality. Um, he says, how do you get early access? You just have to have luck, I guess. You know? Yeah. Fred, yeah. that's right, man. Fred, oh, what up, man? He says, um, good morning. Hit that thumbs up. That's right. Let's hit the thumbs up. Hit the share button. This this is a, a work in progress, the Dell show. We're working on this show. So sharing is caring. So, you know, hit that share yeah. button. Show that love. Hit the thumbs up. Leave your comments, your thoughts. Uh, we got super chats and all of that. You want to show love to the channel. That always helps the um, algorithm, too. Yeah, I don't know how people get early access. Are we talking about the uh, the Jordan 3? Yeah. Uh, or Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. We ain't got no luck on that marinara sauce wow. right there. All right, man. It's getting a little iffy. They're, they're being stingy on the marinara sauce, man. Super stingy with it. I, I'm yeah, a man. You, they hit you with a little, little... You ever order some pasta and the sauce is a little light, man? Like, you yeah. know, 
It's not the same at all. Yeah, man. you got to get it right, man. Let us live a little bit, right? Just a little, just a little, man. I, I certainly would appreciate it. Did you check to even see if you had the access or no? Yeah, I did. It's, um, that's one of the first things I do when I get up and get going is check all that shit. And I didn't, uh, I didn't have any kind of access. And it it's super disheartening when you don't get that shit, man. It's like, what's going on, man? Always, it's all. It never misses. Never no. ever misses. No, it makes you feel like, a certain sort of way, man. I, hate I mean, they notify you if you get the early access. So it's like, you know, if you got the early access. Yeah, yeah. Everybody would know. My phone would start buzzing from Nike telling me I got early access. And everybody in the world would know because I jumped for joy and do five cartwheels out my door. So yeah. I totally understand. I mean, wouldn't we all do a couple backflips? Yeah, I, couple just, I think there's something wrong with, with my with my uh, actual account. I'm, at this point, I think there may be something wrong with my damn account. Well, Somebody should have had early access. Somebody in this chat, somebody that's... Um, well, I mean, we don't have many people in here right now. As I said, this is the other channel, <laughs> the other yeah. channel. It's a work <laughs> a in progress. Uh, these, um, but I'm not going to bury last night's video. We did a really good show last night. And I'm also, we have... um. We also have the interview today. Well, I have the interview. We're not going to have any co-host on this no, interview. No. That's, that's, but, that's um, awesome, bro, that you got uh, Sammy to do that interview today. I'm very impressed, man. Salutes to you for all that hard work. It pays off, man. Real yeah, well. we got a, I've got a lot of stuff lined up. Um, very, very. That's just, awesome. You know, it man. takes time to line these things up. Um, yeah, sometimes it's not that. as easy as it looks. Um I think it's awesome, bro. Uh, I think but, it's I mean, so one, cool. one of the only channels really that be doing shit like this. So I Honestly, think, man, yeah. especially with the uh, sneaker content and everything you do, and you play, mm -hmm. you, you do this too. I mean, to me, that's awesome, super impressive, and uh, you know, something uh, something to be proud of, man. I really am. Uh, I'm really, I'm really uh, proud of you, man. It's super awesome, man. Really awesome. Thank you, man. That means Very a lot to me too. It is. It is. It's first thing when you uh, when you hit me and told me that. Yeah, I told I was, you last night. I was super hyped, man. I, I had to stay up for another hour and calm down a little bit. I was excited for you, homie. I, I really was, man, because I know how much you like wrestling, and um, I know how much th this shit means to you. And uh, that would uh, that that's just awesome, bro. When anytime my boys do well, or anytime somebody I know does well, it's like a win for me too. No, you know, it should be, and it should be. Yeah, and that's so, the thing. Um, a lot of people, and that's when you know people really rock with you. A lot of people be hating. Ah, oh, that's mother effort. You know what I mean? When you when yeah. I love seeing people look. What's yeah. that guy? Crew, um, what's his name? Um, Crew Kicks. What's his name? Kai Somar. He got his own shoe coming out. Yeah. I don't rock with him. I seen the. I seen some someone retweeting it. I I sent him a, a tweet. Thank you. Yo, congratulations. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even yeah. if I don't rock with you, if I see people doing doing good shit. Yeah. I'm gonna always congratulate, man. You could literally I see agree. that there on Twitter. I, I literally congratulate him. He's got a Diodora collaboration. I think two different really? colorways too. Wow. So, you know, I mean, shit. You know, he's not my what? cup of tea, but I can congratulate someone. I'm, I'm yeah, far yeah. from a hater. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that I don't get me wrong. Heads. So, Yo, um, can I go off the uh, back to shoes for just a second? Homie? No, no. I, I actually go ahead real quick. I, there's a few other things releasing, and I want to get to them before they release. So once again, yeah. there's a link in the description box if you're looking for these. So go and get yourself a pair if you want them. Go ahead, Jonesy. Um, I saw the uh, the Kobe Six Pro Tro. It's coming out at East Bay. I don't know if it's a wide release, but it's on East Bay tomorrow. It's on there. Uh, it's on every everywhere on Twitter. It's the Pro Tro White, the predominantly white and uh, yellow. The Pro Kobe really? Six. Oh yeah, I've seen that that color floating around a little bit. That'll, that'll that'll be on East Bay. They have a countdown and everything for it. So if you want yourself a pair of Kobe Sixes, I recommend uh, checking that out, man. That's Charles, awesome. what's up, my friend? Aloha, oh, bro. Good to see. You. Look, I'm rocking my Aloha hat too. That's sick, man. I love. I wear you. the hat and he come and he's, he comes through. This is the magic Randy. hat. Put it on, gang. Randy, I sent you some yeah. stickers, bro. Be on the lookout for those, okay? I sent them yesterday. Sent oh, you some man. extra ones too. Um, some that no one's ever seen before too. So you got some exclusives okay. too. Yeah, Some Randy samples, Watson. we'll say. Sample stickers. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I made sure to sign them all and all that good stuff. So. That's awesome, man. That is what, what's the deal with this LeBron? Are we getting these LeBrons today? Chat, yeah. talk to us, please. Let's get the interaction please. rocking. Yeah, let's get it popping, man. It's what do you think morning. about these? Do you have any desire for this? Nah, nah. The more and more I see, you know, a lot of times when I see something more and more, I kind of fall in love with it. Or I kind of sway towards it. But this shit, this shit keeps me looking the other way, man. Keeps me looking the other way. It's like a bad breakfast or a bad plate of food. You just don't want anything. We push the plate away. That's how I'm feeling on these. I just push the plate away from me. I don't want these. What do you think about them, homie? I think um, they're dope. I think they're yeah. real dope. 
The more I look okay. at them, the more I like them. See? I'm going to be honest with you. The more I okay. look at them, the more I like them. Okay. I, but I the thing it. is, for me, is I just don't like this model. Okay. The colorway is dope. It's the model that's just not hitting for me. It's just not doing it for me. Hey, Jen, Jen, what's up? Um, yeah. So, I mean, I mean, chat, let me know. Is, is this uh, is this hot or not? Um, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. Talk to me. It's the morning show here. Once in a while, we will be doing these in the Dell show when I have other stuff planned for the sneaker out. We can't be double dipping. Uh, nah, we just can't be doing good. that because it messes everything up. Once again, 2 o'clock p.m. on the Sneak Erratic, we will have the one and only Sammy Guevara on the show, AEW. I would say one of his, the best people on the roster, Sammy Guevara, and um, he will be live with us, live on the Sneak Erratic, 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I need your support here. Hopefully, we get some good numbers, especially on the live and um, maybe we'll have some more guests. Um, people love having when I have celebrities on, but the thing is, we got to get good numbers. So we, we got to make sure to, to make that happen on the sneaker addict at 2 o'clock p.m. Please come through. Even if you can't chit chat, just turn it on and check it out. Yeah, um, yeah. I would appreciate your support on it. I, I worked really hard to book that interview, too. It was not freaking easy. Yeah, man. Um, so these are in the description. And then also, last but not least, they came out with, they're coming out with, um, where is it? This women's exclusive. Oh, there's also an Air Force One, but I, I'm not into that. I don't even think it's ah, man. Much. That's a, that's a letdown on the Air Force One because yeah. they're like doing so much. So this is the pastel reveal. This oh, yeah. is a fire pair of kicks, in my opinion. Guys, this is for the guys too. I mean, it's a women's shoe, but the guys yeah. can get down with this. Um, it's got a tear away, it looks like a thin, almost like a corduroy, and mm -hmm. you can actually rip through it. And uh, man, look at how it looks when it's ripped through. That's yeah. fire. I've been uh, I've been looking at that eyeball in the last few days, and, uh, and Nike's coming out with these uh, these these tearaways. These, they're, they're they're going kind of heavy with that. Not heavy, but they're dabbing us with that from time to time. This tearaway stuff. One hundred percent. And I'll tell you, man, you you just rip a little bit off, maybe even on the swoosh. Look at the leather on the swoosh, by the way, too. Oh, I know. No, that looks man. That, I mean, you know the, leather, I mean? the leather looks looks a one, man. It does, it does, man. That's pretty impressive what they're doing. With, and I told you, I'm 50 50 on materials and look, and these mm -hmm. materials are pretty yeah. sick, man. They do, yeah. Damn. Once again, watch yesterday's video. We had a really good, good video. Yeah, I mean, yesterday's I vid was bananas. You need to go I, and watch that yeah. for real. I enjoyed the replay last night when I was staying up. I really did. I thought, I thought it was a great show myself. Great. Yeah. Show. Yeah, Great. yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> hey, hey, Dels, can I ask you what you did? Did you see those Kai 54 lows that they have coming out for the uh, Jordan? Uh, I forgot, was it the 33? Um, the current model that they have. Um, I saw those uh today. I mean, yesterday I didn't get to mention them, but I thought they looked really slick. I'm sure we'll get down the road on those and touch on those, but I thought they looked really cool that the uh Kai. No, not, not, not the Kai. I'm sorry. The Paris. The Paris. Uh, anyway, you guys will see him, man. I'm, I'm totally off of that. We'll catch you another day. They look really cool. All right. Let me – Um, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to be dead up. Honestly, I'm sorry, bro. No, no, no. I, I mixed it up. I'll take a look. That was a dud. I'll, I'll take a it's look. It's all good. It's Keep it moving. Good. So, yeah, um, yeah I'm going to start throwing these links in the stream, too, just to make life easy for you. Are we buying any shoes today? Are we <laughs> buying anything today, people? I can't, man. I, I just there's so much coming out, man. I don't want to knock any of the releases before the you know tomorrow and the next day, but there's just so much releasing, man. I just, I don't want to jinx myself and get a win on these and not get a chance to get anything else that I really, really want. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. um, but I hope I do. I hope anybody wants these get these. What I want to ask you is we, we we've mentioned laser print a few times over the last few weeks. It's come up in the shoes, the stump the sneaker addicts. Um I think that's an awesome game, by the way. Um, how do they get this laser print on this leather? If you don't mind, they me use asking. like a damn like laser gun, like a laser, really like a heated laser, and they literally. It's almost like um, I'm sure it's like a a digital kind of um, like a computer type. You know what I mean? Like a yeah. it just probably lasers it all in the patterns. You know what I mean? In I the factory, as that's far as super. that shoe. It's real um, let's interesting. Get back to that shoe, actually. Yeah, it's real interesting to me how they do that. Um, I can understand on like the you know some of the other fabrics and materials that they use, but to put it on some leather stuff is really, really neat. Like it's really literally the, the laser literally is engraving into the leather. So that's yeah. why you know it, I mean it's worth buying because you literally have an engraved 
art. You have engraved art on the leather, you know? Yeah, that's cool, man. That's really neat to me how they do that. Real talk, man. Because I can see it on like some of the different, like the plastic, I guess it's called on the outsole, like on the Jordan 3s with the elephant print and things. But to put this on leather is really impressive to me. Really, really, really is. Yeah, I know Graham. Shout out to Graham. He's in the chat. Oh, I know he really wanted these. So, like, right. you know, like, people are going for them, definitely. That's right. Graham wanted these. Hope Graham gets what he wants, man, because I know um, he doesn't always go for a lot of shoes. So, I'm really, I nah, he, he really doesn't. He's he's, yeah. he's got an acquired taste, which yeah. I'm not mad at at all. I mean, no. because, you know, the, as I always say, these damn sneakers ain't free. You know what I mean? We got to pay for these shits. A lot of people just be like, ah, I'm going to cop this. I'm going to cop that. Then they look at the bank statement at the month and they're like, oh, snap. You know, like, what did I just do? Right? Yeah, no like, doubt. No <laughs> but I will say, I, I do think all three of these releases will sell out very fast. I think they really? will. Yeah. I'm, I'm wow. very confident that they will sell out very fast. I think the Air Force one people are going to want. It's going to be a fun sneaker to customize. I think that's the sleeper out of these three that are releasing. This is the cream of the crop, you know, rising to the top right here for sure. And then the LeBron, people are buying them LeBrons. And you know they make a lot of pairs of them LeBrons because they're not even, you know, all of these shoes, are. I don't see them available on any other sites. For yeah. My understanding. yeah. I, so I all three of these shoes today, four, and, and this shoe, I mean, I don't know. Does anyone give a damn about this? Let me play fair. Chat, does anyone um care about these? Mm, I don't see anybody really saying. Let me scroll up here. I see Jenny salutes Jenny, no name misfits. And if you are going for the for these uh air air, Ma air maxes, please go on there now. You got about 30 seconds before they drop. And yeah. I hope uh, I hope if you want them, you get them. I don't see anybody mentioning no one knows. Randy does not want these uh these laser or any of these joints today. And uh, <clears throat> Jenny says it's nice color, but that's about it. Salutes, Jenny. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't like this at all. I don't either. I don't like the outsole, but uh, I respect what they're trying to do with these Air Force Ones. But I am not a fan of this at all, my man. At, at all. all, zero. No, no yeah. not at all. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm together with that Jordan release. Once we get down the road on this show, I'll, I'll let everybody know what I feel about that. Uh, hey, that stop, stop fighting my man's shit right there. <laughs> what the no. <laughs> my man uh, yo i'm just fucking with you though i know you are cuz i, I but, love it man. i but, love um, it yo it's just crazy when you when you hang in with people all the time it just comes out down the road. Shout out to my dude. Oh, you cut. No, I wouldn't mean it. My man. That cut me I'm busting your chops. I'm busting your chops. chops. I love it. I'm good for a chop busting. I love it, man. That was funny. Salute to the homie, man. Riddick, what's up, man? Um, Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's 10 01. If you're coming for these joints, get on there now. Get them. Yeah, you promise. better hurry the hell up. They're gonna, it's gonna be cooked. You're not, it's gonna be cooked like yesterday's dinner, and you're not gonna get anything. There's no leftover. This shit may not be. I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up selling out. It wouldn't surprise everything's me, freaking bro. selling out, you know. It wouldn't surprise me if all three of these joints are gone by 11 a.m. And not look, it's one. a countdown too, so that's how much oh. time you have left. Take the road, Jack. These are gone, man. It's 10 15. Yeah, they will be. They will be <laughs> shortly. They're gonna be gone. Is that air? Is that air? Is that Air Force One a countdown? No, I checked. I'd be weak. I'd be weak if it was, man. I'd be so weak if it was a countdown, man. All them shit. By by next year, it probably will. I do not see things settling down. I really don't. See, I keep thinking they will. And when I went to the mall yesterday, I went to a uh, different mall on the other side of town today than I normally go to. I swear, Flint sitting again at Foot Action and Champs, and they were decent sizes, like nine, ten. I asked the dude, nine, ten. He even had a twelve and a and eleven. No, eleven and a half, but. I could have went with a 12. But I'm Dude, they're nice, bro. I mean, yo, you don't <laughs> want them. Though. There's a lot of people that don't want them. I was showing my homie that's not in too many shoes. He's like, oh, these are dope, man. This, and I was like, yeah, man, look look at the materials on these. And everything. I was going through it like we were on the sneaker end. And he was just looking at me like I had three eyeballs. Like, Jones, what the hell are you talking about, man? I just like the shoe, man. It's cool. <laughs> I was sitting there dissecting the shit. <laughs> I loved it, man. I loved it. My boys are sitting there like, really? Is this what you're doing in your free time, homie? I was like, shut up, man. Was, <laughs> shout, out, shout out to everyone that's been copping the sneaker addict tees. Oh. Keep in mind, we have them in tank tops, too. Um, you see Riddick rocking the defund sneakers, hey. tank top. 
you know, we've got the we that's a hot item, the defunct sneakers. Jordan is wearing the defunct sneakers T. Uh, you know, all of the t-shirts, hot items, they are available. Pick one up and um you'll love them. I promise you. Get it forget about me, get them for yourself because you're gonna look dope in them. I promise you, they look great, they fit true to size, and they are available. Link in the description and in the chat. Get yourself picture. some for real, for real, for you. real. Everybody that bought those shirts over the last couple of weeks and salutes to everybody. I did too. I can't wait to see that picture that Dells has with everybody on there. Expand. It's gonna be so dude. Cool. I showed about 40 t-shirts. Wow, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, highest awesome. ever, highest sales ever. That is Memorial awesome. Day, that that sale that went on, people were buying them by by threes to fives. That's so awesome. People were buying them like freaking hotcakes. So thank you all for your support. I really appreciate that. You know, that means the world to me. Y'all going to actually come out of your pocket and buy an actual T-shirt that I designed. That's amazing. You know what I mean? Like, I really got to thank you all for your support. I, I love that, man. And I try to make T-shirts that are actually cool, that, you know, that look good. Mm -hmm. You know, like, it's more than just... um just a t-shirt to support what I do. You know, I try to, I'm trying to put out like some clothing that um is dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that is actually yeah. dope. You know, that, that's, yeah, yeah, that's the take, end game right there. Take and I think I'm doing a decent job. People are buying the shit out of them, which I, I appreciate. And we'll have some more designs sooner than later. We got five minutes left. If you're looking to get this shoe, um, let me know if you guys are going for it. And they're a product of Chicago, too. They are made in Chicago, by the way. Shout out to Jen Jen and everyone in Chicago. And Dreddy, what up, man? What's going on, bro? Um, he says, I don't get that on the flints, Jonesy. They are nice on feet. Yeah, they, they are fire on feet. Let me see if I – do I still have the on foot on those? Nope, I deleted that okay. video. I just don't um, and we also, by the way, we have the new promo. If anyone wants to see the new promo starring Jonesy, Matt for the win, DJ Dells. Um, everyone's on their ham. Um, Ali Frazier, uh, Shannon. I mean, it's it's an all star cast. Um, send the donos, and we will play that promo for you for sure, for sure, for sure. It is really um, good. Let's see what else we got here. Let's um, let's go to the resale on this shit. Oh, please, please. I'd love to see that. That's very interesting. That'll tell us what's going on with it, really, yeah. man. Let's see what the resale is. Let's get to it before you know this is over. Just so we get an idea. Air Max 9D. There we go. All right. So here we go. The wood grain laser. Re oh, my God. Shit. Maybe I should enter this. <laughs> Maybe we should. Now you want to enter, right? <laughs> uh, they were good in the low, you know, the low side. Now they're dropping low. See? Yeah. When they get higher, it's because it, I think it's – I don't want to say it's a woman's shoe, but I think the women may be a – oh, Nah, shit. you're tripping on that. Yeah, but look with how, respect, look how much, you're tripping though. But look at the lower sizes. Look at how much. No, the lower the, yeah, but you gotta take this with a grain of salt. You know what I'm saying? Like these okay. prices are outrageous. Early, early. No one's buying yeah. this shit. This shit is still available right now. That that, that six hundred really makes you chump. Like whoa, whoa. Hey, is there even a th a size three fifty? Come on, there can't be. I think people just say they got them. So they yeah, that's what I'm them. saying. It's a little sketch. You know what I mean? A little sketchy, right? It is, certainly, when you point that out, man. Because it's not even. Don't forget, yet. guys, this is not the sneaker addict. This is the Dell show. This is the alternate channel. Please make sure you subscribe. Yes, there is a three and a half. What? Go for the three and a half. Maybe it'll be a nice payday for you. Shit. I'm not. I'm good. I, I would rather <laughs> somebody get some once in a while. Anyone buying these for the resale? Let me know in the chat and in the comments. Uh man. And let me know what sneaker you're looking forward to buying. I definitely want to know what's the sneaker you're looking to cop next. Okay. Okay. The shoe that's really that, that impressed me and I got the full name and everything is Air Jordan 35 Low Kai 54. That's exactly what it's called. What the Kai kick um K oh you're talking about the K54 okay Air Jordan 35, 35. Low. Yes. K54. Yep, the, the Parisian street ball tournament joint. It's it, it's a uh, oh, I see it right here. I see it. Yeah, right not here. a lot of people are attracted to it, but that those are the high tops. This low top looks appealing to me. Um, it really see. does. I think it does. I mean, I don't. It, you know that I'm sure it'll drop here within the next month or so because uh, you know the the basketball tournament over there by in Paris is taking place. It's over there by the Eiffel Tower. 
Um, but I, I think when uh when everybody sees this joint, I think it's uh, I think it's appealing. I really do. Um, I'm gonna that, dig up some images. That silhouette doesn't really um get a lot of love. Um, I think the Bayou Boys and a couple other ones that came out um get a little bit of get a little bit of run by some folks. But this uh this low top joint to me just it looks more appealing than any other ones that have come out. You know. I really do. What do y'all think about the Jordan 35? I'm about to get you some images real quickly. I'm just trying to gather them all for you guys. No doubt. Um, just bear with me. I'm super interested to think what people think about that. Um, because this shoe that I haven't heard anybody like talk big about this shoe, not a big thing, but uh, but this shoe looks super appealing to me, and uh, I think it will uh turn a lot of heads um eventually. Um the colorway is clean. The uh the design I think is pretty cool. You know, it is a car, so it is related to a lot of street uh a lot of basketball tournaments and things like that. So we'll see what's up, man. I think it'll do well. Um, meanwhile, if you're just walking into the uh th this uh this stream, or you're just walking into the show, smack the like button. This is the the uh, the Dell show. It's not the sneaker Reddit, and you get a lot of different content here. We you know a lot of different content. So look at I'm saying that shoe. Does that not look? What's your thought? Yeah, I like these, bro. Yeah. For I think these are fire. To be damn. honest with you, I really yeah. do think they're fire. Cause when I saw them, I was like, "Damn!" damn. I wrote it down. I wrote it down. This piece of paper, like, "Oh, I got asked, call me about these." Cause look at it. Look, the design is cool. It's appealing. Um, it's a Kai Fifty Four. Um, it's you know, it, it's dedicated to that street basketball tournament in in Paris. Um, I think it's slick. The hints on the tongue, the design. Dude, yeah, also, we got more images. Let me show you more. Yeah. Yeah, for a nice time. look on the lateral side. I like what they did with the coloring, you know. Yeah, look, look at the back, too. You got nice <laughs> branding on the back yeah. and the insult is slick. Everything about that yeah. is cool to me. I kind of wish it was a high. I'm gonna be honest with you. I know you like the highs a whole lot. You do favor the highs, you do. yeah. Um, however, I, I, I've, I've, I was a low fan to begin with, and I've started to like the highs over the last year. So I mm -hmm. really like these. These are super appealing to me. I hope I like. I, you know, they'll be. Easy. I hope my I, like my dick sporting goods or somebody straight cheap. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, no, what the Where is he going? I'm like, I, what the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> I hope that they I, I, cheeks. I've heard that one there. Yeah, that's what's up, loud pack. But I, uh, I hope I can see a pair of these in hand. I really do, because that'll be the final determination to me whether or not I pull the trigger. It really will be because. I think, yeah, Graham, I think they're really cool. And there's something different. It's not the same OG shit that we like, which we all love. But these are super, these are something new and fresh to the eye, I think. No, I definitely agree 100%, man. They're, they're pretty nice. I'm glad that, that we took a look at them. Can I ask one more question? Is that a translucent outsole, I mean, on those two? Yeah, it looks like it. It looks man. like it's translucent. You know, I don't got I don't no image of the outsole, but um, you know. Yeah, it, yeah. I just think, but I think the translucent outsole gives a nice touch. I, yeah. I like the translucent yeah. outsole. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. some people don't like it, but the, I feel like a lot of people that don't like them, they they want to keep their sneakers to the grave, like the sneakers. You wear them, you get rid of them. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. I, just cool, homie. I appreciate. Once it. Once again, so don't forget we will be live at two o'clock p.m. Sammy Guevara, AEW superstar. We will be live picking his brain, 2 o'clock p.m. on the Sneaker Addict channel. The Sneaker Addict, not the Dell show, which you were on. 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I really would love you to come through. I need your support, too. Let's get some, some good numbers in here. If you know someone that's a fan of wrestling, too, put them on. These joints, let's see how these are doing here. Um, yeah, I'm let's see quick. how they're doing. Was there? There wasn't a countdown for these, was it? Yeah, no. these are sold out. They're sold out. They're gone. It doesn't um, surprise me because it, it's a collab, and it is. And cool. I'll see how these are doing too, real quickly. Man, that's impressive, man. That's really impressive. Those Lebrons are flying off the show. All right, these are these are flying right now. Um, the lowest size on the men is an eight and a half right now. Really? As women are size 10. Going. They've got size 6 and a half to size 10 in women available. Yeah, I told yeah. you guys, this shoe is, is no joke, bro. Look at yeah. that. Look, You could customize that so nicely. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like you could do some nice stuff to that shoe. So yeah. I, I told y'all it was going to go fast. Y'all got to listen to your boy Dell. Damn, I posted this a lot. Got to delete that. that. Crazy. At least and then we were looking at this Wu-Tang shoe yesterday. Remember this? Yeah, it was. In a, Shout yeah, out to Ham. 
You see the yellow one too? They have a yellow one in black. Yeah, <laughs> but I went on the site. It was I couldn't really find it. But um, fifty. Yeah. It's on my Twitter. I mean, I'm not buying them. They're kind of expensive. They're like two hundred dollars. I already have like a, a lot of Wu Tang shoes. I have more Wu Tang shoes than the average person. So <laughs> I don't need another one. Um, and then we were uh, we were talking about this yesterday on the show on the sneaker rag. <laughs> As I said, I, you really got to go to the sneaker rag show yesterday. We had a great show. I shout out to my dude. Shout out to my dude DB Cooper 77. He sent me all of these crazy um eight by tens autograph from wrestlers. I'll show you some of them really quickly. You know, we have right here, look at that, Roddy Piper and also Greg the Hammer Valentine. I'm just gonna show you a few of them, man. The mouth of the south. You 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 gotta go. You gotta go and watch it. Watch the show yesterday on the mm. sneaker ride. We got new Jack. Watch, watch it and thank you to Mr. DB Cooper. And we had one that was a, such a shocker. Jones was really shocked. You, you just got to watch it. Um, replay, we have though. Jones actually right up there. You see, Jones is right up there. I got an 8 by 10 yeah, sign by Jones is. right there. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I love it. And yesterday's <laughs> stream was great, folks. If you, if you, if you haven't watched it, um, you know, give it a run. It was an instant classic, as always. Now. Yeah, and, yeah, for real. Go to the sneak around and check that out. Um, it really was. And we got a big week this week. I know we're talking about this and that and these shoes uh, and, and everything. But I'm telling you, folks, if you missed out on those laser Air Maxes and you wanted them, hold your breath because there's a lot of other releases coming this week. A lot of heat rocks. Trust me. Um, give it a look-see and be prepared to have a buffet this week. Uh, I know Dells is going to be cooking up some great, great breakfast this week for the show. Oh, yeah. We're going to have a lot of morning shows. Um mm -hmm. Starting tomorrow, I think, right? Tomorrow is, is the day that we really start digging in on the morning. Are you going to be around this week for breakfast? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I, I got my date clear for this week. This week's a must, a must to be around for because I, I can guarantee that me and Dells are probably going to go for a lot of shoes starting tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So last, yesterday's video, by the way, we dug into these on feet and we dug into. Um, we dug no. into that too. We talked yeah. about also how these LeBrons are for under retail. No. Um, just a quick run by. We talked about Wait. about a lot of shit that was releasing. Um, so definitely watch that. I'm trying to see what else. We talked about these joints mm -hmm. right here. How do y'all feel about these Yeezys with this new look right here? Are, are you liking that that upper? Oh, it's like kind of like transparent, kind of like a. a I don't know how to describe it. it. Almost looks like a spider web. Almost. I know you weren't fond of the color, right? You were saying, or you did? No, like I'm not a fan of that icy blue color. To me, it's a little too much, um, and uh, it's just not for me. I like the 380s better. This one is just not. Uh, and I know that it's not for me. And I'm going to be patient because I'm going to buy a pair of Yeezys this summer. But I know they're restocking on some. There's some dropping. So it's going to be the pair that I absolutely want. Because I'm not big on Yeezys. And if I'm going to add one to the collection, I want it to be something that I want. Um, so No, no you're, you're 100%. I know you really wanted those 380s. But, they, you did. know, you keep having bad luck on that. I did. Um, I slept up. I slept up. Are you I'm, still trying to get them? I've been trying to keep my eye. Are you good on those? I'm good on them, man. I mean, okay. it's not I don't want to waste my time looking if you're good on them. I'm good on them. They're not a must cop if I happen to see them down the road and I'm and I still feel the you same. You said they way trash, me. kind of feminine. Yo, Yo I, geez, what up, my friend? I think uh uh Randy, I'm sorry you took on those LeBrons. Um I see that you wanted them. I'm sorry, homie. Uh, you know, I love to see everybody in the chat get something that they want. And uh I know Randy wanted those LeBrons, and I'm sorry you got an L on those, homie. I you know, I hate to see anybody take an L when they want them, man. And it, you know these Simpson joints we got into a little bit. If you're looking for the Simpson sneakers, I'll actually throw them in the chat. They're only yeah, six they're five bucks. It's kind of a good deal too. Like if you look, if you're a fan of the Simpsons, like you know, yeah, six I five bones and they're yours. You know, and you should all you should also check out yesterday's stream because you get an in hand look at the flaming moves. It look great. Oh yeah, hand. you're right. I need to actually put that in the title of the video. They look great. The flaming moves look crazy. <sighs> I mean, in person. It makes shout out cool. to my dude, Ham Goes Ham. I mean, really. And shout out to Shoes, who actually showed us those last night on hand. Shoes up. Shoes oh, it's Shoes that showed them. My fault. No, I, I get confused. Because Ham be showing sneakers all the time. It was Shoes. That's shout out to cool. Shoes, man. We had, a, we had a really, we had a great guest last yeah, night. Really, <laughs> we did. We had some really good conversation. Like, it was Strong really over good. Two hours. That's an over two hour stream. Check it was out. three hours, bro. Yeah. I, I knew it was three something. hour show. That's why I was like, yo, 
And we, we were just started. talking that we got to cut down the, the, the length <laughs> of the shows because they're getting too long. We do. I think people aren't crazy. having a chance to catch up on all the content. But we were just hanging out. It was like us all hanging out and you just were able to watch after a while. Sometimes we just have fun and we just can't we can't leave, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, I love um, Woo, look at these joints. So, yeah, man. tomorrow is a big, big day, right? Yeah. Is it safe yeah. to say? What are we buying? Are we? Is tomorrow a big day for releases or eh, meh, as y'all like to say? I what what, what the hell are you thinking about this? Are y'all picking up these dunks or are we going for um these? Jo oh, my God. Tomorrow yeah, is going to be a big day. We'll yeah. probably go live at 9.30 a.m. tomorrow. No it's gonna, we're going to no have doubt. to get a little earlier. So you think they're going to have extended sizes in these uh these women's joints? Or this well, we can food? see. Do they tell us the sizes or no? It just no. Nah, they don't no, tell no, us the sizes. They don't even give us a, a little hint. Yeah. Us. Oh, yeah. You may catch the shit patty automatically. Yeah. Auto shit patty. <laughs> <laughs> Auto shit has been united. I like these, though. I like these. Uh, the Spartan yeah. and the Wolverine colorways. To me, I'm going to go for the Spartan ones, the green and whites. I think I'm going to go for both of them. Yeah, why not? I'm going to go for all three of these shits to drop tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully, I get a pair. I, think I really cool. want those Jordan ones, man. Yeah, I know you do. I you do. Know. I really want them. And I'm not the big purple kind of person. I'm not a you big pur fan know. of purple, but it's just enough purple. I really like them. I, I want them. I'm hoping I get them. Um, a little hint of purple. doesn't hurt anybody. You know, yeah. the, 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 the purple uh, hints on like on the swoosh. Um, I believe there's some purple around the insole. The, uh, I think they're in on uh, the lateral side. I think they're really... Really a six shit. And we saw a review. Shout out to Ron. Uh, Ron's mm -hmm. reviews. He gave us an early review on those. No, reviews. not Ron reviews. It's um, not him. Ron's gore? No. I it's forgot called, how to the butcher. Yeah, please please do not him. confuse him with Ron reviews. I apologize. No no disrespect to Ron reviews, but I'm just I, saying. I, I, mix, I mixed up the whole yeah. game. But Bruce okay. Ron, definitely a stand-up guy. And he gave us an early review on them joints and a really slick. Um, check them out. Uh, check out uh, Sneaker Steez. Sneaker Steve's. I apologize yeah. to the big homie. Mm -hmm. Great guy. Uh, these ones, materials on these things, A1. A1 material. Just like a like a like like some nice leather, the beautiful leather that you want. I think it's really slick and really soft too. Um, but yeah, I, I, they're gonna be a hard cop. If you want them, be prepared to get them because these dunks and that Jordan one, phew, you're gonna be lucky if you get get a pair, man. You're gonna be lucky if you hit because that the way this look at those Air Force Ones. Gone, those LeBrons, gone. So yep. Be be I mean, dude, things just can't stay in stock. They're not making a lot of pairs, also. And look at that, my man got a whole oh. shitload of them. There he is, sneakers. Yeah, this guy, <laughs> this guy, this guy. And salute, salute to the homie. He gets. I mean, he does his work, and I'm glad he gets the opportunity to show these. And look at that, man. We got leather on there. I'll put his link. Subscribe to his channel. Tell him you oh. got to, if you subscribe, tell him Dell sent you. The must. Man, I check his channel. Oh, I subscribed a long time ago. Hey, Look at the leather on that. Yeah, 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 man. That pedal. He needs a Ron. You need to get um a stand for your camera though. That's one thing you need to get, bro. I know he's gonna watch this on the playback. Yeah, he salutes to the homie, man. His he's blessed. I mean, look how many pairs of these he's got. Yeah. Man. Shit, I just want one. Yeah, right. <laughs> one. One. Oh, one. He got the plug, though, where he lives. He said, though, you know, yeah. people don't give a damn about sneakers. So he got yeah. a nice plug out there. He's able to walk in and grab with it. <laughs> yeah. My man, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, but yeah, these, sick, I, I just, that looks like a big size, doesn't it? That looks like that's probably a 12 in women. Yeah. I don't know, man. What if they have extended side? Look at that leather up at the top on the uh, the top of the heel, the top right by the uh, right by the insole, and then the, the logo, the wings. Look at the right leather there. on the tongue. No, and that, that leather tongue. I got two pairs of leather tongue, and that is look awesome. at the panel right there. <sighs> look at the panel and the leather tongue. Soft. Soft. You can tell it's that that love, love, man. That is super. Well, what makes them determine? What kind of materials and how good of materials are going on, to, like to the shoe? Because you know some of the materials are super asinine. I really don't way. know, man. I mean, you would think they put some good materials or something. Well, listen, you know what it probably is the ones they mass produce too. Mm -hmm. They're not going to put as much um, Which nice material on it. This they're going to give you nicer materials, but they're also not going to make as many pairs. 
no, you know no, it's business right. you know why would why would they make, they're gonna mass produce a shoe they know they could sell out like that they, wow. they're not making a lot of these for a reason because i personally think you know this ain't facts this is what i think i think that you know with these kind of shoes they make them limited it's, it's almost like a promotional um thing too because yeah. then everyone's yeah. talking about the shoe. Ah, oh, I can't get them. I can't get them. I'm bitter. When you hear when when people want what they can't get all the time, you know, so, know it's just a fact of life. Uh, what's up, Richard Stockman says I don't like either color of the dunks. Okay, respect that. Not liking yeah. the shape of the 2.0 though. Mm. All right. Mm. Raging Absolutely. Bull restock on JJ already sold out. <laughs> of course. See, those weren't even a uh, people. You know, people that wanted them. God of my hope, but those what that wasn't a uh, people were disappointed with that that uh that release, man. Yeah, yeah, they definitely were. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. That's what's, I know you were semi. Are oh, you got a pair yeah. for uh, the kiddo? I got a pair for whoever could fit them first. I got a pair. <laughs> so whoever could fit them first, that's gonna have to hear it. Whoever you know? can fit them first gets them shits. I love it. It'll probably be my oldest daughter, but my son's foot is growing like no tomorrow. He's like growing like a damn weed. So um, <laughs> to the kiddos, man. I yeah. really like the leather tongue, bro. I think that I mean. I love it in the leather, the, the the materials on the tongue, especially with the uh, the COJP joints that I have. I think that they that, that leather on the tongue really sets them off. It's so nice and so soft. Um, you know, I I asked Dells about that about that uh, leather on the tongue. It really sets the shoes off. It really, really does. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like. I mean, look, when I buy a bread or an OG colorway, I do like with the um. <clears throat> I do like it with with the nylon just because I want it to be like what Michael wore. Okay. But like you know, when I see like the Tokyo joints or these, mm -hmm. you know, the, like I like the leather tongue, like you know. I love them, man. I really like it, and I also like that purple at the top right there, bro. One hundred percent, Jesus. I agree with you. Man, one hundred percent. Once man, again, for really... people walking in here, I got to keep plugging this. Please. Two o'clock, we will be live with Sammy Guevara, AEW superstar on tnt on wednesday nights definitely watch this interview it's going to be a lot of fun and he is a heavy funko pop collector he's got tons of funko we're going to talk sneakers wrestling we're going to talk a lot of shit music probably you know i'm just going to pick his brain and have some laughs so definitely come awesome. through to that show that two o'clock so p.m awesome. eastern standard time i really need y'all to come through too i, I want to get the numbers up especially on the live so Please and come through. Set an alarm or tell your phone to remind you <laughs> at two o'clock and come through to the sneaker attic so so I can get even some more interviews because the numbers help. People love the interviews. I know the diehards do. Yeah, I'll, but I'll um, you got to keep in mind that if the numbers ain't right, it's hard for me to get people to come back. You know. Wait to see uh, that man. That's gonna be slick, man. I can't wait to see that interview. I'll certainly be in the chat. Um, you know, supporting Dell. Yeah, I'll yeah. I hope Definitely. everyone's in there. Everyone's in there. Keep everybody company. Enjoy. Dells does a lot of hard work for these. You know? Yeah. I'll, and I'll I've been doing that. a lot of research this morning. I've been like nonstop since 6 a.m. Awesome, so, I mean, man. That is yeah. so dope. It's going to be crazy. I can't stop smiling, man. It's great. I, li man. I like the LeBron, bro. Uh, soccer boy, what do you think of the LeBron? And people, what do y'all think about this LeBron? No, Randy. It is sold it. out. It is not available unless you want to get it on the resale. I have a link. If you're looking for these on the resale, it'll it'll say, you know, the if you could get these on go, it'll take you right to it. It should be the second link underneath the screen. So well, use that link and get them. You get a little kickback, and it's nice. That's very nice. It's very I always mm -hmm. use the links, man. Why not? Um yeah. can, I, can I ask a question? What are the what are the what's the resale on these LeBrons? We, uh, I, I uh, we could look at that. Shit. Yeah. Why can't I, we? I know we looked at the lasers and Lucy. Yeah, and it's only those. right. It's only right. Yeah, we gotta see that. You know, I'm super interested in that. Super interested in what the resale is on these. Oh, me me, that should, it should pop right up. I wrote Mimo. Mimo, Mimo, Mimo. Me me, me me. All right, so not too crazy. It's looking like actually, yeah, it is a little. Shit. Yep. Ah, uh, but no, they went for I think two hundred. Yeah, I think they sold for that. So it's not a bad copy. Yeah. That's what we want. Not Randy. bad. Not Randy bad at all. Windows, or any LeBron for that matter. They're not like Dell said. They're not. Booming off for resale a whole lot, so they're easy to get. You know, they are acquirable if you uh you didn't miss it. It's only a couple dollars over retail. Look here, I mean, twelve bucks. You got to spend that on lunch, so you know, check it out. Don't yeah, I'm gonna throw it in the chat if you want them. Yeah, why not? If you really want them, Randy, um, a couple of the other folks want them, just like uh, Soccer Boy. Maybe he wanted them. 
Go ahead, guys. It's not that much. You spend twelve dollars on on lunch today or tomorrow. Put it to the side. And get yourself a pair. It's only a couple dollars over retail, and I'm mm-hmm. be happy. I like to see people get what they want. We tested it earlier. I hate, you know, it's just like you know, people not getting what they want for Christmas. You know, I just really hope everybody gets what they want. Um, it kind of yeah, it does. It kind of stinks, especially when I try to get a pair or anybody I know tries to get a pair and they don't. It really leaves a disheartening feeling. Uh, I like the LeBrons they tried to do with it. I'm not a fan of them, but I like the the, the extras, so to speak, that they did with that, with the patches. and. I think they're dope. It's just my thing is I don't really like the silhouette. It's not a bad silhouette, but why can't they, – they're, they're releasing – they are releasing retros now. Why don't you let the lady do a retro? But you know why. They want to try to sell this – to take this model home. So, look, people buy this shoe. They throw it on their feet. They're, they throw it on their feet, and then they're like, you know what? I actually really like this damn model. Let me give this a chance to buy another colorway and get buy another colorway. Or you may see someone wear that exclusive and say, you know what? That's actually a dope shoe when you're in the mall. And then you're like going to Foot Locker, and you see the low, and you're like, eh, maybe I'll go pick me up this low right here. So awesome. they use this as a, it's almost like a, a way of advertising, you know, like when they do these exactly. kind of quick strike collaborations. I respect that, man, a whole lot. I Even really like this it. shoe. Look, there's people that wanted to buy it. And, and they haven't. There's people that are new to the game. They may not have even owned an Air Max. And they're like, oh, maybe I'm going to get this. Oh, okay. You got the W on them. Oh, good job, soccer boy, man. Salute, Tommy. That's what's up, man. That's awesome. I know you were happy when you got those, when you got that uh, that W, man. So it's always <laughs> a nice feeling. Salute, Tommy. Good stuff. I've never seen soccer boy in here, man. Soccer boy. Yeah, salute so cool to soccer man. boy. Yeah. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Once again, this is not the Sneak Erratic. It's the Dell's show. So make sure you come through here, okay? Man, salute, salute to my waffles, my man. That sounds good right now. Nice ego waffles. Yeah, I was. I really was thinking about getting some breakfast on the ride back home this morning. Are you? I said, Nah, I ain't doing it. I drove through the freaking war field. You know, we were talking about yesterday when you drive through all them fast food joints. Like there's like <laughs> the fast food joints, field. and you're driving home and you're hungry and you're like. Maybe I'll get me, you know, bacon, a uh, 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 bacon egg um, McMuffin or some, you know, a uh, sausage yeah. muffin or some, so wherever. I mean, I'm passing through every talk. freaking thing, and I'm like, no, going home. You got to talk yourself out of it, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, like, going <laughs> home. <laughs> you're almost, you ever got to drive through and pulled away like, I don't need this shit when you're in the drive Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because that's that's the thing. Like, you got to, I just had some shit the other day. I need to chill, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes it. you think breakfast is harmless. Ah, get myself, get myself a sausage um, biscuit. We good, you know? <laughs> you day off, right? They tell you, hey, you got to eat, uh, eat fuel to burn the fuel, right? Now, yeah, but that damn, but that fast food will kill you, bro. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will, man. <laughs> Sure my arteries are freaking clogged like crazy, bro. Hey, I like I like cheese, man. I heard that 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 clogs your arteries, but I I, I really I'm like not a big cheese person, man. Really? Neither is neither is wifey, man. She has. I like, like the mozzarella, and that's it, really. Really? Everything else, stay away from me. I'm, I'm the I'm I'm one of those people that uh will grow in and grab a, a slice of cheese in in the middle of the day and eat it, man. I really am. Oh wow! Crazy. Oh, you. My wife is like that. She's yeah. cheesed out. She loves cheese. Really? I think most people love cheese, especially Americans. Yeah, I know that. Uh, to touch on that, when uh we're we're having her and I, we had we're having tacos tonight, which is one of the greatest oh, things. Okay, Taco the, Wednesday on the Jones menu. Tacos is a beautiful thing. So, uh, but. They don't. If anybody's been to Mexico or any kind of a Latin American in a country, they do not put cheese on their tacos. They do not. That's what I'm talking about. They like an me. Americanized taco. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we don't. I don't do the cheese on the taco. No, nope. I, I, I do. I do. I like cheese. Y'all just heard me say that. So I, I like good. cheese. I, I like cheese. <laughs> hot sauce, cheese. Have you guys ever been to Chipotle and seen the green hot sauce? They have this. Green yeah, yeah. That shit is good. It's Fire! You know, I'm one of those guys that actually goes and I can't find it at the grocery store. I just slip that little, uh, that little green bottle. They won't miss it in my bag. <laughs> yeah, you cry me, really, bro. I've done, it. I've done it twice in the last year. You know, you, they got that at the grocery store, bro. I haven't looked, but it's just so. You convenient. gotta look. It's there, man. It's so convenient while they're waiting. It while all those Uber eats and they're so preoccupied. Eh, they don't mind. They don't oh, mind. we got a cash app from. Uh, oh. Got a cash app from my dude, um, Lewis Film Critic. Thank you, brother. Really? I appreciate you, man. The ultimate compliment, Lewis Film Critic, bong bong. Mm-hmm. 
Shout out to Lewis Film Critic, my man. good as Lewis film critic i appreciate the support man for real for real thank you so much man Very nice. patreon yeah. member too yeah. yeah and we will have a patreon tro- show this weekend too oh, patreon great. show this weekend i look forward so. to those patreon shows man they're really uh they're really cool behind the scenes you get some great stories some deals some great a lot of a lot of great stories you're yeah. only going to get there or if you join the join membership on the sneaker radic keep in mind on the sneaker radic which i don't even know if i have a, a membership here to be honest with you i don't think i even have a membership uh, um mo kicks was cracking and good morning clap that good to see you and i'm glad you made it in for breakfast today we what's up tomorrow. man what's up everyone make sure y'all hit that damn thumbs up button and subscribe jones and my wife will be on a, tri- a trial together. Oh, for- Mo Kicks. Mrs. Mo Kicks. Okay. Uh, I, that's, the, that's the way sometimes. You ain't got time. Or it's a rainy afternoon. You don't want to stop by and run away home after you get that Chipotle. Just slip that in there, man. Hope they don't catch you. You know, hope they don't see yeah, you. Yeah, y'all, y'all going to jail, man. I don't know what will happen if they catch you. For that. They'll probably just ask you to put it back or, you know, pay for it. Something like that. Who cares? Um, but Y'all you going know, to jail, uh, bro. Y'all going to get locked up for fucking taking packets <laughs> and shit. Y'all going to Starbucks, taking the packets and all of that, man. Uh, Not anymore. They don't have the packets out there. Yo, uh, if you are um, going there, man, I recommend going there when it's lunchtime and a little busy. Then it's uh, pretty easy to uh, snatch that. Oh, my God. You're a professional condiment stealer. (laughs) No, thief. No, no, I'm not. It's just I, you're I, I, a I, professional I, thief of the condiments, bro. <laughs> the, the condiments, yes. How, yes. You definitely have have um an area in your home that has sauces. I was just about to ask you: Does anybody else have? Does anybody else collect their leftover sauces for the for the next time? Do you, Dels? You got? I do. Them? I do. We do. I Only don't what I need because then you get the old ones mixed with the new ones. I do. I have a lot of them. My wife like, like, like especially that. like if I go to McDonald's and I get like like chicken nuggets, I always get Meat that salad. hot mustard sauce because that shit is banging. Hot mustard yes, sauce. It is. Yes, it is. I like that too. So I, I like that. Sometimes I'll hit. I'll grill some chicken and and use some of that sauce. It's banging. You know. That's not man. That's what's up. No. Chick- Le- you know, Chick Fil A sauce is pretty good. They actually sell Fire. it at some grocery stores now. Really in big tubes, oh, man. That's what's up, man. That's, that's yeah. Nice. So the Chick Fil A sauce is on the money. What about the McDonald's uh, sweet and sour? You don't like the sweet? And yeah, sour? it's pretty good. That's pretty it's good. good. The wifey loves that a whole lot, man. Salute. Um, yeah, you know, um, sauce I like was that uh that extra fiery sauce that came with the uh, Travis Scott joints that they had at uh, McDonald's. I think it was the uh it was a super hot sauce. It was a little bit bigger. No, that came with the spicy chicken nuggets. Yes, yes. You didn't like that? Yeah. I thought it was all right. I'm not yeah. digging the spicy chicken nuggets. I like oh, the Wendy's spicy chicken nuggets. I like Wendy's chicken nuggets. I, I we we we've uh we've but had they're not the, they're not the best nugget. The best chicken nugget is um is uh McDonald's by far. Really? They got yeah, the best I, chicken nugget. There's nothing better than McDonald's chicken nuggets. Um, Man, I, I don't mean, consider Chick Fil A chicken nuggets chicken nuggets. They're not breaded all around it. They're very small. They're sick. pulling a fast one on us with that shit. Man. <laughs> but they are good, man. They are. Good. They're good, but they pulling a fast one on us, bro. Those <laughs> shit, dude. Two, three of those nuggets equal to any other place's chicken nuggets. They do. They do. So they give you like a nine piece. It's like you're really eating like a four or four five piece. piece. Yeah, four you know piece. what I mean? <laughs> I mean, maybe my Chick Fil A is skimpy. Skimpy. Uh-huh. Is your Chick Fil A skimpy on the nuggets? So they giving you, and sometimes I'd be giving you like a little corner of a. Of a of I know. A, it looked like literally they hit you with the corner of yeah. the damn um, the tenders. You know what I mean? I, I like they be really doing us dirty over there, man. It's like a little. Extra this shit is good. I don't know what they sprinkling on that shit to make us want to come back. <laughs> Sprinkle on that shit. That's what's up, man. My man it makes me laugh. Cockroach, so thank you again for the dono, bro. He says Wendy's. 
Wendy's yeah. chicken nuggets are good, but you can't eat a lot of them. They're this very oily. Good. I agree. That was and the one thing game. about what I like a lot about Wendy's and um and McDonald's, they taste the same, right? They still taste the same to me as I was a kid. Their nugget, oh yes, they do. They haven't changed up any recipe or anything. Like Burger the King, they, they can't get it right. They keep flip flopping, doing this, doing that. They 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 can't. They and and what's up with with Burger King? They can never get their fry. They always changing their fries up too. You ever notice that? To me, Burger King is is the bottom of the barrel for me. And as far as the uh, little fast food chains that we talk about, go. I'm not. I mean, everybody likes a Whopper, even a Junior Whopper from time to time, but that's not my Buffalo favorite. Wild Wings is is always a go. Oh, that's a special. That's not even a question. I'm that's all, that's a Buffalo Wild category. Wings all the time. That's a Wingstop was yeah. highly disappointing. Ah oh, man, trash. I love trash it. compactor show. Lemon pepper. Shout out to my dude, um, testify. I love trash. It. I like. It. Yo, if you like the lemon pepper, not pepper trash. Show. I won't. I'll take it back. Let me rewind that. There, they didn't. They didn't deliver in expectations. I thought it was gonna knock Buffalo Wild Wings out the park. Ow! Nope. No, I think they're good. Maybe it was the spot you had. Um, but I've been to two different. It was grimy as hell at the one I went to too. I know you told me that there were there were people at the the, back door. Wing wing spot I went to looked like it looked crazy in there. It wasn't the. the, uh, There weren't people working there. We're wilding out in there. I mean, it was grimy as shit in there. It looked dirty as hell in there. It looked like, you know, dr- transactions were going on while I was in there. Like, people were walking. Not with the employees. I mean, it just was a grimy-ass place, you know? I love it, man. That's great. I remember you tell, t- said that, uh, like, three or four months ago. I yeah, I was, very, I, I was like, I can't believe how grimy this fucking place is. <laughs> it's, like, grimy as shit. But I, no, and I walked in, and normally I would walk out. But I said, yo, I'm here. I got to try this. I need this this wing stop experience because heavens keep telling me, yo, wing stop, wing stop. Rick Ross, Rick Ross with the wing stop. It was all right. And you can't even sit and eat there. That's the thing. Yeah. The place I went to, ain't no tables. No, no, you just walk no. in and it's just a counter. Mm-hmm. You know? It's a I mean, it's spot. small. It's a small joint. So I'm sure rent ain't a lot of money over there. They probably killing it. Yeah, if you I think have, about uh, it. I've never been to a spot. I've always ordered it, especially over the last year. Oh, and have coming. it delivered? Yeah, we've become so used uh, to it. Yeah. See, you know. wings, you got to sit down and eat them. Wings wings are kind of like French fries to me a little bit, man. You got to eat them when they have the fryer, bro. Hot out the oven. Yep, hot out yeah, the oven. They, they very, they're very much like French fries wings. Like, you got to get – even pizza. Well, pizza – Pizza is all right, but I like pizza blazing hot, like yeah, coming I, out of the oven. I like sitting down and eating. Like you I know? do too. I agree, and I hate when it's delivered. You can tell you went to like two other spots before you got to your house. You know what I mean? I can't stand that because then, and you know what? I can't stand it, man. man we always result to food sometimes. But I can't believe we got go food again. But you know one of the things that I um I hate is when you get that pizza, and they just don't look like they've even tried to cut it. You know what I'm saying? Oh we, my God! I can't stand the that, worst. Man. Like I they can't. hit you with a light cut, like a damn yeah. five year old cut it. Yeah, I can't stand that. It. Happened once in a blue moon with me. It does. It does. Um, do you like the square cuts, or you yes. just like regular pie cut? But it's got to be from the right place. Agreed. A place that specializes in the square cuts, right? Well, Not in New place. York, anywhere you go, you get the Sicilian oh, slice. Right. Some people call it the grandma slices. Now, oh, like, no. New York, you can't go wrong. But no, over like here, where I'm in North Carolina, it's hit or miss, you know. Really? We got a couple places here um, in, in Cincinnati where they specialize in the uh, the square slices. I don't necessarily ask for that from my everyday spot, you know. If it, you know, that's what I think. I think it's a special one, and I agree. Clap deck. Um, they are franchised now, so you know that you know um, me and Dells can own a uh, wing stop space. You know, I'm franchise. sure it's not that expensive, bro. No, I've thought about it. You know, I've thought of, in, in, in uh, my adventure time over the last few years, I've thought about uh, I've been asked if I want to go in on a subway and a couple other places. But then it, it's it's hit and miss. You know, I, I didn't. It's want all to about that. the location. Mm-hmm. It's all about the location, parking, location, traffic coming through. You, you know, ever, uh, anybody ever get uh, at their job, have a roach coach come to their job? You ever heard of the roach coach? No, I have no clue what the hell that is. Okay, well, a lot of people probably do. It's a real thing. Um, you know, when you're working at a warehouse or a, um any other kind of job, 
that doesn't have any food options there. They have, um, you know, I come to your spot um, with a uh, with refrigerating and all the op- everything a kitchen has, and then you can, uh, you know, I have all the food there. I have nuggets, I have uh, cheeseburgers, hamburgers, and what they do is they stop, they go to like, um, let's just say White Castle or something when they close, and they get the food that they're actually going to throw away. It's still good. And you know sandwiches and stuff, and then they go to the rest of the, the warehouses and things the next day where folks are working, and they park outside and people come by that stuff. Seriously, well, I never heard of that. Yeah, it's called he a road coach. Road coach, coach equals food truck. Okay, See? there you go, there you go. He says that Subway is disgusting. They've been nah. gone for six years. Nah, nah, nah. Eat fresh, Subway. Eat fresh. <laughs> Yo, I Subway, how at us? We need that check, man. What do you get? Um, up? I, I, I think Subway is is like. Hit and miss. To me, Subway, it's all about the vegetables that are making it, the shit you put on it, right? What do you, the uh, cold cuts is like not it, – it remind me of cold cuts like you get in – not in the deli section, but by, by the hot dogs and shit. Like oh, that, that would uh, – You know what I mean? Like the <laughs> packets of cold cuts, Oscar Mayer cold yeah, cuts. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that shit remind me of, man. But You know but, what I'm saying? Like yeah. – like, I. I like it's a shame that I I really can't eat at, at Jimmy Jazz, a uh, Jimmy not Jimmy Jazz, Jimmy, Jimmy John, uh, whatever uh, John's no Jimmy more because I can't support them because it, it I've allegedly the one of the people that are the founders or some shit like that go hunt some you know really? trophy hunting and stuff I can't get I that one that. That so I don't eat there no more but that that spot it tasted like it was fresh the bread was good um subway some subway is okay but remember when subway used to be five dollar foot well what happened yeah what happened to that shit. I've always thought that. What happened to that, man? See, that's they, when I was going there. I was like, too. I five dollar football. You got you got like five five people over every. You know, oh yeah, I got y'all lunch. Shit, no, no. I, it's on me. I'm gonna go to five dollar yeah. football. <laughs> 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 and no, then they start getting stingy with it, right? They would be like, "Oh, only on these days you could get this, that," and they never have the BMT, and that's the move. That's the best one on the menu. Like the BMT. BMT. Yeah, that's yours. Yeah, that's oh, my move. The BMT. My go-to is the uh, spicy Tony, the spicy Italian. I always get okay. spicy Italian. That's fire. Yeah, that's they fire. they totally work us, work toasted? us with that. Toasted it all does. You ever get your sandwich toasted? Yeah, always, always. And so, always. Sometimes I go there, I get the meatball jump off. Oh, that's a classic. That's the, that's yeah, the, the meatball that's is good. Man. It tastes like lunchroom lunchroom food, but oh, it, 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 it brings me back to when I was a kid because I used to love the meatball <laughs> sandwich and in the when I was a kid. But it's definitely very lunchroom like. What was the go to it in in school in high school? Oh, I used to always get the same shit, like a hot pretzel and mozzarella sticks or something That's like cool. that, That's or cool. fries, and that the would be in high school. I don't remember in elementary. No, nah, not in elementary. I probably had a packed lunch, no doubt. But when I was in high school, I think the pizza with ranch dressing was fire, and then always the French fries. You ever put ranch dressing on that? I hate ranch dressing. Okay, then you don't. All right. I hate it with a passion. It's my okay. worst enemy. That and cream cheese. <laughs> Absolutely hate it. You want it, You want me to not ever be your friend again? Put some damn cream cheese on my sandwich. I'll never talk to you again. <laughs> well, what's the deal with cream cheese? I hate it. It's disgusting really? looking. It's it's horrible. Philadelphia cream cheese. No oh, doubt. God. Get it out oh, of here. Man. Okay. Okay. I like cream cheese, as a matter of fact, man. I like cheese. What about... The- <laughs> Nah, I'm not a big cheese guy, but especially some kind of cheese spread. Get it out of here. Really? Green cheese, that soft shit. Get it out of here. My cheese balls during Christmas time to come in there. You guys put it on the uh, cracker and stuff. Nah, hell no, man. Wow. Okay. Salute, Tom. No. Crack sure rank. Goop. My kids love that. My daughter, my youngest daughter, she loves it. Fire. Not for me. Not Fire. for me. Get it out of here. You don't like it, does crap? No, because it's cream cheese. Yeah. Get it out of here. I love crab rank. No, man. thank you. Jersey Mike's, I've had. It's it's okay. It's not bad. You know, it's the worst sandwich place ever. That my first time eating there, I'll never eat there again. I'll try it again, actually. Firehouse subs. Now I like what they're doing. It goes to the firehouses. So please go there and buy a sandwich at least once. But firehouse? Firehouse sandwiches. Fire. Fire. No shit. Shit. You don't like it either? Oh man. Maybe I ordered the wrong thing. Man. Man, I want an Italian st- Italian combo, right? I they heated the meat up. That's a disappointment. That's a disappointment. Maybe that was your place, man. I don't know, but the uh, the yo, I, I don't mind a hot sandwich, but the Italian combo is not supposed to be hot. No, no, it the bread be could be a little toasty toast, but the damn 
meat, over the oil and shit from all of that, the, the pepper, pepperoni. I don't mind the pepperoni being warm, but I don't want no salami warm and shit no, like that. No. <laughs> no you know what I mean? Salami. The ham warm, the lettuce. Yo, they even warmed up the effing um like vegetables in there. The lettuce was warmed. You put I was like, what there? is this crap right here? That was this. See, man, they have some piss poor franchises over there by you, bro. The way yeah, maybe they just making the stuff wrong. The firehouse by me is bunk. It is good. It's a, it's a, and, and you know what makes it so what, what I like so much. It's not an every day. It's like so. What do, you, every, what do you order there? Um, I get the simple. They have a they have a grilled good meatball sub over by me. Okay, so you order hot food. Okay. Yeah, so I go with thing. You got to go there. And you gotta eat hot food. You can't yeah. be eating no cold shit because they ain't gonna give it to you cold. The meat, the meatball. But they don't even give you fair warning that would be the heating up your like, like, like they're not giving you fair warning, you know? Like they're not telling you, okay, well, we you want it whole hot, hot or cold. Uh, you know, titty. they just yeah. throw that shit and heat it up, man. Yeah, it's firehouse. Sick. I guess everything has to be hot at the firehouse. And I don't mind a hot sandwich, but it's gotta be the right one. You order an Italian combo, you don't want hot ass with the grease. The fat being melted into the bread and all of that. Like I want it cold, you know, with the with the lettuce cold and all of that. Whoever was working in firehouse, oil and vinegar egg. on it. I like with some salt and pepper. You're gonna heat that up. Now you got hot oil on the shit, yeah, yeah, and there's yeah. already oil from the from the Italian meats. You know, pause. Like, you know, what is the uh, if you don't mind me from the Italian? <laughs> what is? <laughs> I slipped that. Hit that for thumbs up. Hit the share button if you're having fun here. Slip that in there, so this is a work in progress. We try to get this shit going. <laughs> you slipped that in there so damn quick, but I loved it. What, what is the go-to sub place by you then? Just out of curiosity. Um, it used to be Jimmy John's. I'm so disappointed. I wish they would just stop doing this trophy thing. I mean, or just announce that they're not that that guy's not doing it no more. I love that Italian nightclub sandwich, or the I think oh. it was the Vitos. That those were so good. Yeah, but man. um, I, had, I, had so I make my own sandwiches. I buy my yeah, own cold yeah. cuts. I go yeah, to the grocery store. I, I buy, you know, fresh ham from Boar's Head or you know the fresh cuts. You know, Boar's Head, uh, ham, like salami. I'll get the Italian like it. imported shit. You know what I mean? Get some shredded yeah, lettuce. You know, buy the bags of shredded lettuce, cut some tomatoes, oil and vinegar on it. Mm. Um, mm. Onions. I gotta mm. have some oh, onions on my sandwich. What about cucumbers? No, I hate cucumber. Okay, okay. Another thing I hate, cucumber. I like, I like them done right. Um, you know what I hate? When I get sushi, I order a roll and they throw cucumber in it. No, you tell them, you take it I out. can't stand that. That, I that, that like speared cucumber. I know they were giving you a crunch. I don't yeah, want no yeah. crunch. A little texture. I totally understand. Yo, I like the the dragon. The dragon rolls by me are super fire. They have a Cincinnati one out here. All these little restaurants that I eat sushi at, they always have like a, a personal. Hey, what's cracking, ready? They always have a personal like joint. Like they have the Cincinnati red here. Um, that one's real good. And I gotta have the uh the the wasabi with mine. And wasabi, I eat that. My boys look at me like I'm nuts because I coke that damn that damn. Sushi. Yeah, I like wasabi, man. My boy, we ordered some sushi to be delivered this weekend. My boy was painting. Okay. I have people over, freaking um, and um, they gave us so much wasabi. It was like a pie, a, a like a mountain of it in in like a plastic container because we ordered it from like Uber or whatever one of them yeah. effing places. Door DoorDash is the yeah. drizzling shits too, man. Really? They always mess up my order, DoorDash. I think they have a personal vendetta against me. I I swear. They always mess up my order. They forget everything. Always. I always, uh, we use Or they mess up only my order. I order (laughs) Chipotle, no cheese. They put extra cheese on it. Put extra cheese on it. I'm surprised they don't wrap the damn burrito in cheese. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) They they just, there's something going on. Like, and then they're like, I call up, you know, I have my wife call up. There's a, there's a, I'm, I don't want to speak to them. When I have my wife call up, and they're like, "Oh, can we offer you another one?" I tell them, "No, I'm, I'm not getting." I, when I bring food, when I tell people the food is wrong, I don't ask them to bring it back. I get so paranoid they're gonna, oh yeah, oh, spit yeah. It in or something like oh, that. Yeah. Like if I go out to a restaurant, they overcook my steak, or, and I'm not a pain in the ass. Like if they, if they like, if the, if I order like medium rare and it comes out, you know, like um bad. Yeah. I don't trip, but sometimes I'd be really effing it up. 
And I'd be like, yo, I can't eat this shit, you know? Yeah, I so I just be like, I, this is totally wrong. Like, if, or they put cheese on my pasta. Because <laughs> you know what they're going to do. They're just going to scrape the cheese off the top of it and just, you know, throw some some pasta and then mix it all up. So I'd be like, yo, I'm good. I don't want to eat uh, So you superly hate cheese. Super. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, no, I don't hate cheese. I just like certain kinds of cheese. Okay. I like mozzarella cheese. That's it. That's it. Certain kind of cheese, not kinds. Yeah, but that's gore. it. I that's like it. mozzarella. <laughs> mozzarella. That's it. I love I'll it. eat a little regoat with um, like a lasagna, like you know. No, uh, no goat cheese. For you. No, hell no. Get that shit. No, away. Hell, it was quick with it. Bro. I ain't oh, eating no bro. goat. I ain't eating no goat cheese. It's not happening. <laughs> oh, that's great. Not crazy. happening, brother. Not this. It. Like you gotta like literally. You'd have to offer me money to eat that shit. What the. <laughs> like if you gave me fifty dollars, I don't even think I'd eat goat cheese. Oh, for fifty dollars. Oh, that's crazy. maybe a hundred or two hundred. Fifty is fifty. You wouldn't. I wouldn't 50. even eat it for fifty dollars. Wow, man, you could slap some shit and put it on a plate for fifty, man. I might think. Nah, place, I ain't eating it for fifty. Someone send me fifty dollars. Go eat goat cheese tonight. It's not happening. I'll, say, it's not Sorry. Happening. You I'll return your fifty bucks. My man, you ain't kidding. You get your fifty. Hundred bucks, like I may do it for hundred bucks. <laughs> Shit, yo, AMC is lit today. I saw you send that and salute Solo, man. That Good was a few days you. ago. Shout out to Solo, mine, man. I saw yo, you. It is bananas. I was looking at my um my stocks this morning, and I was like, yo, I'm up like. Almost like two hundred hours today on my oh, stocks. Shit. Good for you, homie. I love that. I know you. I got about money. sixteen shares of um, AMC, and I yeah. bought it at like eight dollars a share. And they're booming right now. Yeah, let me go to my Robin Hood. You know, Tesla is that? still down though. That he's a he's a. Uh, I'm I'm gonna refrain, but the AMC joints. Everybody's going back. Studios are starting making movies again. They're not giving them to HBO and Amazon. Mm -hmm. Now everything's starting to pop in. Everybody's going back. That AMC thing was super slick. I was telling my wife uh, last year, it'll never be the same. You know, people enjoy watching, you know, but people really enjoy going to the theaters. It's, it's, it's wild. I Dude, mean, people love going. And let me tell you, son, people love going to theaters by themselves, too. Bro. And that's a major thing. Because there's not a lot of things that people could do by themselves. If you think about it, but going to the yeah. movies is pretty acceptable. It's not like people are looking at you like a fucking weirdo if you go to the movies no. by yourself. You know what I'm saying? I had no problem going to a movie by myself now. But I think if my wife would feel a certain sort of way if I went to a movie by myself now because she she likes uh, she likes movies. But when I was younger, the homies didn't want to go for something I was interested in. I like to go into the late one, the late movie, man. If nobody's around, I go to like the 10 o'clock show and kick it in there for a little bit and go back home. If it was something I really wanted to see, you know what I mean? I thought, you know, I, I, I started going, I went to the movies once when I was in my twenties. Cause I, yeah. I forgot what movie it was, but I, I was just, I was having a bad day and I was okay. just driving around. None of my friends were around. So I'm driving and I said, you know what? Let me go to this movie right here. Cause I was having, a, I was having a rough time, you know? Right on. So, and I was young, I was probably like, you know, 18, 19 years old. So I, yeah. I sat, I watched the movie. I felt really weird doing it. Like it was weird to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, I, but I went and I walked out. I was like, wow, this feels. I like this shit. Like, cause yeah. you don't talk to people in the movies. You don't. No. It's fun when you get out of the movies. Yo, that was crazy. Yeah. And talking and all of that. But if you think about it, man, it's 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 kind of relaxing to actually go to the movie theater by yourself, sit alone, get yourself your popcorn and your drink, whatever popcorn. you're into. I really enjoy going to the movies by myself. Um, I haven't in a while because you know I you I got like. I always go to the movies to stuff my kids want to see now. So, oh you know. yeah, 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 I totally get it. Me and my sorry. wife just really enjoy me and my wife. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, we, we just really enjoy uh the the home aspect of it. Um, I think it you know you get a little bit more freedoms, and uh, but um, yeah, I, I like it. I've got, I've become accustomed to it over the last year. Um, and it's a really good thing. By the way, I'm gonna watch Spiral, the Saw movie today. I, of course, have a, a Fire Stick, uh, you know, a real nice, a real uh, updated one in that Spiral. There you go, 1080p. I'm gonna check it out. The wife really likes scary movies. That's um, what's up. But yo, you gotta also keep in mind that I was I was in the Screen Guild, right? Screen oh, Actors. Wow. I was in SAG. So the movie theater by me, bunch of them. You show your SAG card, you go in the movie for free. Oh shit, that'd be a must. Oh, so that's why, another reason why I'd go to the movies by myself because it would be that would free. Be 
you know, is there a, did, did you ever growing up, did you guys ever have sneak previews, like radio promotions and their whole Yeah, yeah. You, I never went to one. Oh, I've but been I, to I've worked in radio where we gave them away, which was cool, you yeah, know. I thought they were cool. I, my favorite sneak preview, uh, I have two. Uh, my favorite one was uh, the release of Ghostbusters 2. I was such a big release, that movie, and, uh, you know, with the walking Statue of Liberty and stuff. Uh, I really enjoyed that. And we were lined up outside that movie. I had to be like 12, 11 or something, 12. And we were lined up. People were lined up around the mall, man. Like, say, your anchor store, like a uh, like a Macy's or something. That People were lined up around that. And then the radio station was handing out shirts and buttons and all types of stuff. It was real cool. And I'll show my age. The first ever sneak peek I went to my sister. Salute to my sister. She took me to. Um, and we went and saw Hoosiers. And after Hoosiers was a was a sneak preview. Stick around as a double one for Rocky Four. Sorry, folks. That's how <laughs> the Rocky Four was showing with Hoosiers. Two instant classic movies. And uh, I wonder why they don't do that anymore. Um, because is it because movies are so popular or um or radio stations have just switched it up a whole lot? Because I have not seen any kind of sneak preview in a decade, maybe two. <laughs> real talk. Um, but they were used to be a real great time. Um, hey, Chuck, can I ask you a question? Who in there has ever seen a sneak preview and what movie was it? I'm just super interested in that because they were so awesome when I was younger. You used to get sneak preview, see it before everybody. And like uh, I remember the video stores when they would give them, you know, they always get their movies like a uh, a month early. And they would, uh, all the people there that worked at the video store would get the extra copies, like the promo, the screeners, they used to call them back in the 80s and 90s. And I thought that was so dope. Like, I would want to work at a, a blockbuster, even like a video village, so I could get the movies early. I thought that was really cool. Really cool. Um, and that used to be a big deal, you know, when you go to the to the place. Uh, I never had a Super Nintendo at the video store. My mom would rent that joint for the weekend because it had Street Fighter 2 on it. I thought that was super cool. You could rent the video game systems and stuff. Times have changed. Times have certainly changed. But uh, yeah, and if you if you're just walking in, subscribe to this channel. It's not the sneak rats the Dell show, like Dell said, it's a work in progress, but it's a beautiful work in progress, and uh, you know covers all types of different topics and so forth. But check, definitely check out the sneaker addict today at two p.m. Um, there's going to be a wonderful, wonderful interview with Dell's um, going on interviewing the homie from AEW. It's going to be a great, great. Uh, yeah, I'm actually interview. submitting some questions to him right now. That out Does anyone have? Any, I'll give you an open foot. Does anyone have any wrestling question you'd like me to ask Sammy Guevara? Sammy Guevara, man, because I'm literally God. sending him questions right now. I saw anyway. last night that I that I have Jones saying, "Why well, catch you down the road?" And yeah. with that said, I have to head out on a long day, so catch you down man. the road. Say it all the time, Riddick. Really. Say it all the time. Yo, I really. love that, bro. It's like very, it's very, it's almost like a wrestler would say, catch you down the road. Yeah, yeah I like Yo, it. Yo, thank you for the dono, my man. I love it, man. I love it. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Your level of creativity is through the roof, for me. I, Thank I love you, it. man. It is, man. It, it is, man. It's I so try, fun. brother. I try. Uh, your level of creativity is is through the roof, man. Uh, it's awesome. Man. Salute, Tommy. Yo, let Yo. me know, guys. You guys have anything you want me to ask Sammy Guevara wrestling-wise? I have already my questions non-wrestling-wise. Yeah, I, I'll um I'll probably shoot a few questions out there because it's super interesting um that, that, that you're doing that and I'm really interested in that guy um up, the uh, you said that he's actually a big Funko collector and stuff. Yeah. I'm looking forward to mm -hmm. watching that. That's gonna be great. I'll be tuned in at two p.m. and I hope everybody else is because um just the fact that you put the work in to get to do that kind of interview is super intriguing to me. Super intriguing. I'm looking forward to seeing that. and I hope everybody else is too. Uh, mad respect for that, homie. Um. Yeah, there's a, hey again. There's a lot. There was a lot of releases today. 
Check them out. I hope everybody got them. They got them. Um, I know we're going to be having breakfast tomorrow. I'm, I, whenever Dells cooks up a good breakfast, I'm the first one at the table. I look forward to having a, a plate. And um, I know we're going to have some great shows uh, th- th- over the next couple of days in the morning. There's wonderful releases. But a gem like today that pops up in the middle of the afternoon over on the Sneaker Radic, when my homie gets to interview Sammy Guevara, it's going to be a great episode. I mean, a great showing. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing that 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 hour of that day is already set aside for me. Um, and I hope everybody gets a Subway sandwich today or some sort of, a, you know, sub nah, don't buy Subway. Don't buy pay. Subway, the homie says. But if you do, I hope you guys like it, man, because I know everybody's super, uh, super getting a little hungry now. It's about 11 a.m. A lot of people eat bre- uh, lunch at 11 a.m. So I hope everybody, because I, I mean, every time we talk about food, it's super influential to me. Be like, damn, man, Subway or one of those sub sandwiches sound good. Maybe some wings, maybe some nuggets, <laughs> maybe a square sliced pizza. <laughs> no, we're having tacos today at the Jones Casa. So um, that's going to be dope, but not till after 2 p.m. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Hey, all right. um, did anybody see that movie over the weekend, The Quiet Place 2? That movie looks no. really good. What's me. that? I didn't even see Quiet Place One. Oh, that was dope. It's got Jim from the office in it. It was his movie. He made it. That's a real good movie. I know everybody in the chat's gonna say it's a good movie. That was really, really good. You never saw it with Jim uh Krasinski? I think that's how you pronounce it. I probably butchered his last name. Uh, but I really like that guy uh from the office. Jim. I'm pretty sure his name's Jim, something with a K. I'm probably butchering it. Krasinski or something like that. I can't you've never seen The Quiet Place. That was a real good movie, bro. That is a real good movie. It's super interesting um, that you've never seen that, dog, because that is a great... So it's, a, it's not, I wouldn't say a horror movie, um, but it's definitely a, a spooky film, and it'll make you jump a little bit. <laughs> Damn, that's, that's a good one. I know my movie uh, my movie uh, suggestions took a dip when I recommended that uh, The Army of the Dead to the big homie over there. I hated that. That was the worst fucking thing in the world. That movie was horrible. No, it, he loved it. I thought it was horrible. I, I didn't love it. I thought it was very entertaining. See, I watch movies for entertainment value. Uh, my brother, salutes to the homie, is a, is a movie snob. Uh, uh, hey, uh, Jones, I, uh, I, you, you, really, <laughs> you know, he's the same voice as my wife, man. He's like, oh, but he's he the didn't same voice Oscar. as my wife. He didn't win the universal voice. <laughs> He didn't win an Oscar, man. My brother's big on, well, what kind of award has it win? Who's in it and stuff? I'm like, man, it's Batista. It's entertaining. Oh, whatever, Steven. I ain't watching that shit. Okay, bro. Don't watch it. But I certainly, I, I watch it for entertainment value. I really do. I'm going to watch uh, that Spiral movie today. It's really, it's raining cats and dogs in my area. So it's a good movie, you know, to cozy up and watch a flick today to me. Um, but not before, not until after or before 2 p.m. It can't be cut to the show. I'll just tell wifey to press pause on it. She hates that. I have my hands on all types of shit, and sometimes we watch a movie and don't get back to it till later on in the day. She hates that shit. She really does. I'm definitely gonna um, ask him what is it like working with Mike Tyson, because he worked with Mike Tyson, and that's pretty crazy. And Jericho, you know. Yeah, Tyson was in a few shows. Yeah. and on his YouTube channel. That's what's up. I didn't know that. Damn, man, that's gonna mm-hmm. be awesome today, bro. I did not know that. And Tyson's probably top five favorite athlete of all time, in my opinion. He's my favorite boxer by far. And so for, so somebody to work with him, I find that super intriguing. That's another reason to tune in today. I'm really looking forward to that. Let me check out the check because we got some Miss, Mr. Holy English. I see you in here. That's great. No Name Misfits. Always good seeing No Name Misfits in here. Um, special. Pre- hey, No Name uh, Mr. Holly English put a uh, put a question in there uh, for, for the uh, home. I just family. submitted them. Okay. I, <laughs> I just submitted them. it. Y'all waited too long. Sorry, buddy, but maybe I can ask that. Let's say, who would you like to apply your special move in the president? Oh, okay. that's a good question. That is, that is cool, man. That's why I pointed Shit. it out. I thought that's All a right. great question. I only um, got about 15 minutes with him, though. It's gonna, it's not a, I mean, that's pretty long, though, too. That's a long it. interview, bro. Yeah, 15 that's like a segment on 60 minutes. That's what's yeah, up. yeah, that's yeah, it, exactly with commercials and everything. Yeah, you're right. That's slick. Yeah. I mean, one without commercials, a 15 minute, that's like, yeah. That's a that's, that's you know, I like to ask stuff out of the box, like talk music and movies and shit. Yeah, like that. Um, another thing, man, you know, Dallas has done a lot of great interviews over the last few years with different on people. this channel. 
Yeah, on the Dell show. I I I personally am subscribed to this and go back and watch a lot of the, some a lot of the content he has. Mm-hmm. It's, it's pretty entertaining, man. I love it. Um, I know you did a wrestling a couple wrestling joints last year. If I'm yeah. correct. You had uh, I don't know their names. I'm not you know I, I don't want to butcher anybody. Uh, we cool. had Karrion Cross, Scarlet, tons of people on here. You well, know, we had uh, Frankie Monet, Monet yeah. on here. Yeah. That's one. Right there. I mean, relevant people. We have a lot of people on this channel. So go to the main page here. I think we're going to cut up out of here, yeah. bro, actually. I got to go get my son. I didn't realize we've been vibing, bro, just hanging out. You know, that's it. the I Dell show it. here. We're going to talk about whatever we want. And um, thank you all for tuning in. Yo, yeah. Jones, you got anything you'd like to say before Yo, you go? everybody, I'll be tuned in at 2 p.m. to watch Dell's Peace in the Middle East. Everybody have a wonderful day. Salute, Dell's. Salute, my friend. All right. And also, I have the link pinned in the chat. Please click on that link and hit the reminder so that you watch this show at 2 o'clock. I really would love for you to come through. Also, YouTube always is like on some funny BS, not notifying me, my, my, um, my peeps, you know, you all. Make sure you follow my Twitter and my Instagram because I always try to give a heads up when I'm about to go live. And um, once again, get my T-shirts. They're fire. You will love them. And we will be live 2 o'clock p.m. Sammy Guevara. We will be talking sneakers and much more. So you don't want to miss it over at The Sneaker Addict on YouTube. The Sneaker Addict, not this channel. Catch you down the road. That's right. Thank you, my friend. G Fish, what up, man? I see you in here. Thank you all for tuning in. You could be anywhere in the world. you here with me. And I really do appreciate that. Um, thank you for all the donos that came through today, too. If you're watching the playback, there it is right there. Real DJ Dells, all right? That's his cash app. We're selling my stickers. These stickers here, um, $7. Only ships in the United States, unfortunately. I'm sorry. But um, 7 bucks. Do the cash app. Send it to the cash app right there. Right, right there. <laughs> And um, these are pretty big, these stickers. I will sign them. And if there's anything you want me to write, just put it in the memo. But put your address in the Cash App memo. And then also um, put an email address just in case I need to get a hold of you. Make sure it's your full address with your name and all that good stuff. We'll send it your way. I just shipped a ton of these stickers. And they're limited. I'm not going to keep printing them and printing them. So um, definitely um, get one. Support the show. And it's a hologram. This shit is really nice looking. They're thick. They're thick. They're not like little thin-ass stickers. They're high quality. So um, get yourself one. Thanks for tuning in. Sneaker Addict, 2 o'clock p.m. The Sneaker Addict on YouTube. Much love. We out.